So at this time, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to invite you to join me and then we'll have the benediction outside and the final blessing. Shall we praise the Lord one more time? Hallelujah. Let me hear you shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. This sounds like a street meeting. Yes. I am ready to preach. Yes. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. You are sinners or you are righteous? <laughs> it is good. The Lord has been blessing the church and the community. And so we are very delighted to, to see what the Lord has provided. It is a couple of thousand dollars well worth of equipment complements of R3 and so we want to bless it you know when I listened to the message earlier and I realized that all of these disasters struck Job and his family and I realized that some of the things that we think is natural disaster they are spiritual disasters because it was a spiritual fight between Job and the devil that the devil picked on Job. And so, you know, it is, it, it is necessary for us to be always in tune in the spiritual realm of what is happening around us. Because disaster, whether it is a hurricane coming in the Caribbean, it is spiritual. And I heard a preacher said he was in, I think, one of the Virgin Islands. And the storm just rise up out of the sea, coming to destroy the island. And the Holy Spirit told him to go outside and rebuke the storm. And he rebuke it. And it just turned away and just quiet down. So brethren, even though we are well prepared, we have to prepare to raise our hands when the storm is coming and rebuke it. If we can't rebuke it from the Cayman Islands, at least from your house. But we shall bless this equipment. We want to give God thanks. Bless the church of God. For the glory, for to God be the glory. To Jesus Christ, our only begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit, for His provision. And so in this time of dedication, we want to give God thanks always. And we want to present these gifts to the Lord to ask his blessings upon it. In Psalm 127 and verse 1 it said, Except the Lord build a house, the labor labors in vain that build it. And so we want to ensure that whatever mission that we are going on, that the Lord is forefront of it. And the equipment also is blessed and dedicated to the Lord. So I'm going to ask you to repeat after each PowerPoint or each dedication to say we dedicate this equipment to you, O Lord. We dedicate this equipment to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit the Comforter. We dedicate this equipment to you, O Lord. We dedicate this equipment to the Disaster Management Ministry of the Eastern New Testament Church of God. We we dedicate this equipment for the purpose of ministering to the needs of the Eastern community in the event of a disaster such as hurricane, flood, or earthquake. We dedicate this equipment to the Missions and Disaster Management Ministry in preparation for the upcoming hurricane season and beyond. We dedicate this equipment to the Disaster Management Ministry to bring glory and honor to our Lord Jesus Christ. We dedicate this equipment to the Mission and Disaster Ministry to win souls for the Kingdom of God. And finally, we dedicate this equipment for the joy, comfort, and peace of all those who will benefit from its resources. 
Let us pray. Father, today we come to you, Lord, so that, Lord, our ministry team will have the resources ready to respond to those who will need it in the event of a disaster. Father, we have seen many disasters that there were no response, there were no preparation, there were no preparedness, because we are not expecting anything bad to happen, so we would not prepare for something that is bad. So we end up when the disaster comes that we are unprepared. But Lord, we thank you today for the missions and disaster ministry in this church and the New Testament Church of God by extension throughout the Caribbean that has seen it fit for each local church to have an arm of missions and disaster management that in the event of the of some disaster we can have a team of persons ready to respond having been trained having been aware of how to respond to the needs of those who are experiencing disaster and we thank you for our team here in the Eastern New Testament Church of God. We thank you for the director, Brother Darren Kirchman. We thank you, Lord, for every person who is on the team with him serving. We ask you to strengthen them and bless them as we present this equipment, Lord, for your blessing and dedication upon it, so that, Lord, it will be used to further your kingdom. It will be used to advance, Lord God, the kingdom of God. It will represent your kingdom. It will be blessed by you, Lord, and it will be used only, Lord Jesus, to bring glory to your name. We thank you for hearing us today, and we ask your blessings upon it now, in Jesus' precious name. And God's people say, Amen. Shall we give the Lord a praise? Amen. One more praise. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Everything we do, we have to praise God. We have to praise Him, just constantly praise Him. Uh, as the, the text that was shared earlier, that Job worship when a disaster struck. And one of the things that we have to do to prepare for disaster is to develop the habit of regular, constant praise in God. Why? It gives us strength in disaster. It is what strengthened Job that Job could endure such atrocity in his family, in his business, and in his life, his health, and everything. And so we must always Give God thanks and praise. Shall we praise him one more time? We want to thank Reverend Everett Edwards for such a powerful word today. I'm sure you have been challenged and have been blessed. And I too have to break up my folly ground to ensure that my service to the Lord is not mediocre. It is not something that is taken lightly, but it is done with a certain level of value to God. But at the end of the day, it is not burned up in the fire, as Paul said in Corinthians, that all of our works will be judged by fire. And if it is straw or wood or hay, it will be consumed. But if it is gold or silver, it will be purified when it is tested. And so we want to bless God. Shall we give Reverend Edwards one more time our appreciation for that word? And we shall be appreciating it more next week as you will have a final word to respond to us. But if you if you had cost us all today, we know that it is the best time to do it because after it you can't get stoned. <laughs> Bless the name of the Lord. Shall we raise our hands for the benediction? And now I commend you to God and to the words of his grace, which is able to build you up and give you an inheritance among those who are sanctified. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace in Jesus' name. And God's people say, the Lord bless you. Visitors, we have refreshment and we have giveaways at here. If you see anything that you eat that you like you can have it. it it is a giveaway and there's refreshment inside the church here and they are also the kit that you should pay attention to in the, to prepare for the starting season that you need to have all those items ready in your house in the event of an hurricane so what's on the menu right now Sandwich, um, turkey sandwich, and a 